Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin news. The IRS is soliciting contractors to help examine crypto traders' tax returns. So really, does that mean that your IRS, that your uh, income tax return for 2019 is at risk for being audited or at least being reviewed by one of these contractors. We're going to dig into this. I'm going to give you lots of information about it, and I believe it will really help you out. So, should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to be, give you ideas to take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithms and Google and everything else. So this is our disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Cryptocurrency involves <coughs> substantial risk of loss. So definitely read the rest of this disclaimer because you want to be fully aware of what you're getting involved with before you invest in cryptocurrency. Now, today in the market, today is uh, at 6.18 a.m. Central Standard Time on May 13th, 2020. And at this moment, Bitcoin is trading for $8,991. So it's $9 shy of breaking through to $9,000. And that's up 2.62% in the last 24 hours. Um, plus, you can see here that we have a mix of red and green throughout the entire market. Some coins are down, some coins are up. Most of them are either down by a very small amount or they're up. And you can see by the darker greens that you see throughout here that there are actually a number of coins that are up, not just a little, but uh, a little, you know, a little bit more than uh, uh, some of the others. So, IRS solicit contractors to help examine crypto trader tax returns. And what they've done is they've sent an email out to a number of different groups who, um, at, their business model is to help people compile tax return information, compile their cryptocurrency information so that they can file their tax returns. The Internal Revenue Service is seeking third-party contractors to help it assess whether certain U.S. taxpayers have properly paid taxes on their crypto holdings. According to an email posted online by CryptoTrader.Tax, CryptoTrader.Tax is one of those companies out there, that help you compile your cryptocurrency transactions so that you can file your taxes and pay or deduct the correct amounts depending on whether or not you had gains or losses. So, and this was verified by Coindesk. So the IRS Assistant Deputy Commissioner John Cordone said, the agency is looking for contractors to assist our revenue agents in calculating taxpayers' gains or losses as a result of their transactions involving virtual currency. At least one other company in the space, which asked not to be named, also received the email. So um, Coindesk has been able to validate this with more than one company out there. Um, so it sounds like the IRS has sent this same letter out to a group of companies looking for help because you know, as we all know, calculating the way the IRS and the way the current tax laws are written and interpreted, um, it, the, the calculating cryptocurrency taxes is not a simple thing. It's not like, you know, just taking your W-2 and punching in a few numbers into uh, the 1040 forms and coming up with the amount you owe. It's more complex than that. The call for contractors comes as the IRS is paying is paying increasing attention to the crypto space, having used its first guidance on the matter in, uh, in years last October, and adding a question about digital currency ownership to this year's return form. Privacy consensus crypto users 
are likely to chafe at the idea that the IRS may be hiring outside parties to review their transactions. And so if you had cryptocurrency transactions and you filed them appropriately, well, whether you filed them appropriately or not, if you had cryptocurrency transactions on any of the exchanges and those exchanges are reporting that information back to the IRS, you may have outside parties reviewing those transactions and checking to see your tax return as to whether or not it actually reported them. I don't think people will be pleased about this. However, those who have been accurately reporting their crypto taxes will have nothing to worry about, said David Kemmerer, CEO of CryptoTrade.tax, a software platform used for reporting. In his email dated May 12th, Cardone, and this is the guy from the IRS, said the IRS is starting with a few single case contracts as pilots with the goal of publishing a solicitation and request for proposal for a larger multi-case contract. Companies that participate will need to sign a non-disclosure agreement and consent to a tax compliance check, the email states. And so obviously the IRS is beginning to get quite serious about hunting down people who are not correctly reporting their uh, cryptocurrency transactions. According to the document attached in full below, and so they did attach this letter, the contractors would have to look at both on-chain and off-chain data, information obtained through API keys, taxpayer submissions, and other sources determine the gains and losses for each taxpayer, and note cost bases, track sales, and other transactions, and find any inconsistencies in how the taxpayer is reporting their data. One section under the services to be provided heading detailed the complexity of calculating an individual's tax burden when dealing with cryptocurrencies. The document noted that a taxpayer could have hundreds of thousands of digital asset transactions per year, which could occur on different exchanges and different wallets. These transactions need to be aggregated and the assets involved need to be valued as part of the process of computing gains and losses, the document said. Additionally, specialized technology and infrastructure is required to digest, contain, and analyze virtual currency data due to unique requirements such as but not limited to decimal place precision, varying field formats, and file formats. And so... You know, this, this paragraph really emphasizes some of the difficulties for calculating cryptocurrency tax liabilities, tax burdens. Um, it is a complex process. I found that out through the first year that I had to file my cryptocurrency taxes and then the second year. Uh, one of the things that you definitely want to use is one of the different companies out there uh, that provide a way, a tool for you to input your exchanges, input your wallets, and input other information. And then it goes out and automatically gathers together the information about your cryptocurrency trades, um, applies the correct cost basis. Um, said in another way, it actually will go out and figure out, okay, on July 3rd at uh, 2 10 a.m., uh, Bitcoin was worth X amount and you traded it for Ethereum, which at that particular precise time was also worth a different amount. And so it goes out and figures out what the value was of each of those coins at specific dates and times in order for it to calculate your uh, tax liability or your tax burdens, um, you know, your capital gains or your capital losses based on those transactions. And so uh, it's, it's definitely too complex. I think it's too complex to try and tackle by hand. It would be an enormous job for most people, especially if you've done more than just bought Bitcoin and then held on to it and did nothing else. If that's what you did, then that's a lot easier um, because until you actually sell it, you don't have a tax burden. Once you've bought it, and then sold it, you need to know the price that you bought it at and the price that you sold it at, 
or the price that you bought something with it um, in order to determine whether or not you had a capital gain or a capital loss with that particular uh, cryptocurrency, whether it was Bitcoin or something else. So while the document detailed examples of how much data the contractors would have to look at, it does not specify which exchanges or type of taxpayers the contractors would assess. The contractors who take on the project may also need to testify at trial as a summary witness explaining the calculations derived from the underlying data, the document said. In 2019, the tax collector, or the IRS, sent three variations of warning letters to thousands of traders that believed to have misreported their tax liabilities after trading on crypto exchanges. The letters advised traders to look at the exact date and time they conducted a transaction, diverging from IRS Guidance Form 2014, which said to apply the exchange rate in a reasonable manner that is consistently applied. The agency did not update its tax guidance until October 2019 when it published a new FAQ, Additional Guidance. In the same month, the IRS updated the main form individual U.S. taxpayers used to report their income to include a question about whether they owned cryptocurrencies. The agency's lack of detailed guidance has long been a source of frustration for crypto investors who claim a lot of cryptocurrencies still don't fall neatly into existing tax laws. Now that is definitely true. I have to agree that the, the, the IRS's tax guidance is lacking in detail and lacking in information. And so there's a lot of I don't want to say guesswork, but you have to have experts interpret previous laws and try and apply them to cryptocurrency. And so not only do they need to be an expert in IRS tax laws, but they also need to be an expert in cryptocurrency to understand correctly the implications. So it, it just it just creates it, it makes it quite complex. And that's one of the reasons why if you have been uh, trading in cryptocurrency, you really need to use uh, one of the tools out there uh, to calculate your tax uh, burdens um, and calculate your tax liabilities. Now, the tool that I've used in the past is called Zen Ledger. I have a video that talks about Zen Ledger. That video is listed below in the comments. My recommendation is if this, if this particular video has raised any kind of red flags for you, uh, my recommendation is, is that you watch my video on Zen Ledger and decide for yourself, is Zen Ledger something you need to use for your, your IRS uh, reporting for 2019, 2019? Now, if it is, you still have time. Uh, right now, today is May 13th, 2020. You don't have to file your uh, uh, taxes until July 15th. Now, if you've already filed your taxes and you find that you need to make an adjustment, then you can always make an adjustment at this time. But the longer you wait, the, 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 the worse off you could get if the IRS actually contacts you and wants to audit you. Because if you've delayed handling that and taking care of that, that can cause more and more issues. So, um, as always... I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a tax specialist, I'm not a legal specialist, I don't have a background in finance law or tax, so this is not financial advice, it's not tax advice, and it's not legal advice. This is my opinion. Um, if you have been trading with cryptocurrency, I would strongly recommend that you seek professional advice. Uh, in order to correctly file that uh, information with the IRS, especially this year, since it's very clear by the question on the IRS tax form that the IRS is getting very serious about this. So how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have any thoughts? Do you disagree with anything that I said? I'd love to hear your polite disagreements in the comment section below. Please leave your comments on the YouTube channel. That's the one that I monitor the most. Um, compared to, you know, Reddit or Facebook or one of the other platforms that I promote my videos on. 
And I would love to hear from you. I hope that you have a fantastic day. And in the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. And do me a favor and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.